I thought it's useful for a minute to think about the relationship between this year's cycle of struggles and your own to the cycle of struggles 10 years ago that more or less went under the banner of altered globalization. I'm thinking at least the, the struggles, that, uh, struggles that went, cycle of struggles, sorry, that went from November 1999 in Seattle, at least through Genoa in 2001. Now, I think that there's some really interesting differences <laughs> between them. And the, in fact, the biggest difference, it seems to me, is that back then, 10 years ago, <coughs> that cycle of struggles was really a nomad, mobile cycle. I mean, what we, what we were doing was primarily going from political summit to political summit. In fact, many people actually moving from one to the other. Um, and constructing, and I think it had a, it, for me, it had a very intelligent purpose. You know, at that time, 10 years ago, there was a great deal of thinking within the movements about the new forms of global power. And there was sometimes, in some ways, a recognition that it's no longer simply adequate to locate that power that dominates us in the nation state and in the national government, but we have to recognize a new formation of a larger global system. And so in some ways, each of those summit meetings was illuminating a new enemy, or at least a new node of this network of enemies. So that one week we would do it with the WTO meetings, and another week with the IMF and World Bank meetings, another week with the G8 meetings. In some ways, we were constructing a network of the power structures of the world. But it was a nomad movement like that. Now, this year, you'd say for better or for worse, and in, I think mostly for better, this is a, a movement of encampments. You know, it's not a mobile nomad movement. You're here, and you're rooted both in your local context um, and also rooted in the sense that you're, you're here for, I, don't, I hope not forever, but for a long period, for your own sake. I hope not forever. But, um, but that it's not a mobile, it's not, you know, what, what the, the movement now, the movements now are not based on that mobility, but rather on a kind of rootedness and a, and a, and a fixedness, you know, that you will not be moved, in fact, part of what, what's going on. And I think that's, um, that, while I think that 10 years ago there were some important political, almost pedagogical aspects of that mobility, I think that there are many more political advantages of this of this staying of this staying rooted in in your local situation. Um, the other thing that I find remarkable about the relationship to the movements ten years ago is that um, what I was saying before in a way that the political nature of the demands today are more <laughs> important. Like so while 10 years ago clearly it was, they were protest organs, uh, oriented against neoliberalism, and in some sense financed, which is certainly more of a focus today, but, but what, is, what I think is stronger today, and in some ways I would credit this in a way to the beginnings in North Africa, is the, is the demands for a real democracy. Like the critique of representation and the demands for democracy um, as a component of these economic and social demands, as inextricable from them. There you go. I think, like um, like ten years ago. In fact, we we today I think are building on what was begun ten years ago about the form of organizing, about the the democratic organizing or the horizontal organizing. The mechanisms for for doing that seem um, seem to me ever ever more developed. It's something that have developed over the last ten years. 